Hi guys. Alrighty, we're here today to talk because Miss Kaya Simon is back on YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse me. She decided to make her return and I cannot believe that she came back with this video. I'm a little surprised and I would say it takes a lot for me to be surprised on <laughs> social media just because there's so many weird things but I figured this would be a good video today because I covered mom of eight and I've been covering Ruby Frankie and those are obviously more um, you know heavier topics so this will make for a little bit of a different video <sighs> but whatever so let's talk about it Kai Simon I talked about her over the summer I used to watch her uh, videos periodically she made commentary specifically about foodie beauty and she was exposed by somebody I actually think that it was probably somebody in her real life um, and they exposed that her long-term boyfriend was a pimp and he pimped um, you know um, minors and it was just a whole catastrophe. I'll link my other videos in the, the description description box in case you guys weren't around for that um, period of time about probably almost two months ago. But Kaya has decided to come on back to YouTube and test the waters. She got into it in the comments with some people who were not happy to see her return. And I'm going to read a couple of those exchanges because I found that um, to be a little interesting. But if you're wondering, well, gee, somebody was exposed. They doubled down. Then their uh, pimp partner came up and basically gaslit everybody who was listening to it and claimed that there are no Victims. nobody is a victim in this it's a victimless um, situation when that person decides to come back less than two months later what is their return video going to be considering that this is the same Kaya who used to rip on Chantel foodie beauty constantly for her diet the things that she would eat mukbangs, how much she ate, how often she ate, her manners. Kaya came back with the eating them chicken nuggets. She came back eating chicken nuggets and trying some boring sauces that McDonald's just released. Who would even care? You guys, you already know the mukbangs are not my thing. I don't like to listen to people chew. I don't like listening to people um, eat if I'm curious about a new food that is out, I will try it on my own. I don't want to hear you gobble food on camera. I find it to be repulsive, but that's a very personal preference, which I also understand. I personally just could not believe that that was the video that she decided to come back with. Reviewing, talking about the shapes of the chicken nuggets, uh, talking about how the two sauces taste a little different one's a little more spicy because here's the thing yes i listened to the video because i didn't want to jump on my channel i mean one of those idiots to speak on a video that i had to listen to so i listened to it at two times speed and she didn't say anything about the catastrophe that happened less than two months ago she didn't talk about what her future plans are for her channel. She didn't talk about feeling remorse. She didn't acknowledge how greatly disappointed her followers were and how bamboozled a lot of us felt. It was just an opportunity where the mark was missed. And I know that a lot of people have said, well, she should have left and never come back. But here's my thing. If you are going to come back to come back with this, is what really makes me scratch my head. Nobody cares about McDonald's chicken nuggets and nobody gives a damn about their new sauces. And anyone who is curious can go try it for themselves. Very odd choice. Let's go over these two exchanges that she had in the comment section because I found these to be a little interesting. So this user says, I loved you girl. I was heartbroken. The situation shocked me and I was really keen for the Q&A. So we as viewers, survivors, victims, people who thought we 
people who thought we were your friends, all of the above, could try to hear you out or at least get a true apology. I'm still waiting for the live Q&A you promised a month ago. And you post this, Kaya, WTF dude, you don't owe us it, but WTF is this, I'm sad AF. Kaya responded to this person and said, I'm sorry, honestly, but I have to move on. I never meant to hurt you or anyone, but I cannot continue hashing this up. I am mentally exhausted and I do apologize from the bottom of my heart, seriously. But the part that Kaya is missing is that she made a promise to her followers to do this really transparent live Q&A, a panel, so that it could be actually properly discussed instead of having her partner come up and read this scripted note that basically discounted himself and gaslit his, her followers. Um, there was no discussion. And she comes back with chicken nuggets. Very, very bad choice. The original commenter responded to Kaya and said, I think if you'd done the thing you promised us, coming on your own channel to face facts and answer questions from genuine supporters, we could have cleared the air some. Some of us found out after the fact that you went on other channels to talk about them and we as your subs didn't get that. I think we deserved our own chance to chat. Again, you owe no one nothing, but I have been waiting to hear from you and this was not what I was waiting for. I know that you know this engagement is something, something I'd not give to our girl, Foodles, Foodie Beauty. I stayed subbed because I believe that you come through. You've got my email anyway. I'm disappointed that it wasn't addressed like you had promised. We all loved and rooted for you for so many years. And it is a really crappy situation to put subscribers in because not only were you exposed for who you actually are, but as I said in other videos, this is a whole different kind of scenario because Kaya built her channel on accountability, commentary, transparency, and you're holding people to a set of standards that you aren't even living by for yourself. Another different subscriber said, I think Kaya has told the story and given answers despite what channel it was on. The problem is that people are not satisfied with her answers and probably never will be. But that's the problem with life. It's not fair and sometimes you'll never be satisfied, especially when it comes to other people's issues. Things happened, people talk, time passes on, and we deal with it or don't. Do what you do, Kai, and keep it pushing. But the problem is, is that she gave a promise to her followers that she was going to have an open discussion and be transparent and actually face this, and we have yet to see any of that come to fruition. A completely different subscriber chimed in and said, wow, so disappointed that you so disappointing that you would think that logic applies in a situation where use of minors happened. I thought you were a real one, not an apologist for a S offender and those who deny there were even victims of the crime. Pretty freaking gross. And I completely agree. I just think that this was a really, really bad look coming from somebody who has been so hard on foodie, foodie beauty and anyone else that she had discussed on her channel along the way, you speak of accountability and you are giving very little accountability in this situation. In a different comment chain on the same video, somebody said, just testing the waters without your face because of all the drama, question mark. Kaya responded and said, it's called a quick taste. Been cleaning, not scared to show my face at all. Why would I put a video up if I was? And I just think that's funny. You know, Kaya didn't show her face and she did come back with this video. And in my opinion, it was testing the waters. She wanted to see if all of these com comments that came flooding in were actually going to come flooding in. I talk so often about the internet's short-term memory and how they often will just completely forget of this 
disgusting behavior that's exposed, just let a little time go by and most of these YouTubers will come slithering back to their platforms and act like nothing even happened. But again, people are holding Kaya to the set of standards that she had set for people that she discussed on her own channel. If you're going to set these standards, when it's your time to answer to your subscribers, they hope that you will have the same rules for yourself and that was not displayed through Kaya. And another subscriber went ahead and voiced their concerns and Kaya responded to that person and said, I'm sorry you feel that way, I'm moving on and forward. Those that choose not to be here will be missed, but I'm not letting his past, which he paid for, Hold me back and life back. We are both sorry for what has happened and we have, we handled things, but this, it, but this, it with addressing it. Thank you for the time we've spent together. She just wants to move on. She has already shown everybody how little she cares and now as she's showing us, it's time for her to move on and continue collecting money on YouTube because um, that's what she wants to do. Another comment I found kind of interesting is somebody said, stay off the internet. And somebody responded and said, mind your business. Don't want to watch move along. And someone else said, it's a free country. And Kaya liked both of those comments. Obviously, people in her corner that are hyping her up. Um, and excusing her very bizarre and abhorrent behavior. You're literally telling people to mind their business. Kaya built her entire channel off responding to internet happenings. And if it's on the internet, then it's everyone's business. This is the argument and the stance that I talk about constantly on my channel. If it's on the internet, it's there for public consumption. People are going to have a different perspective. Nobody is obligated to agree with you or disagree with you or like you or, you know, pat you on the back. And somebody who has built their entire channel off of accountability, reaction, commentary style content, the bare minimum that subscribers hope is that if something like this happens, that YouTuber displays I live by the rules that I set out for these other people that I have talked about on my channel. Kaya didn't do that. But either way, I think those are going to be my thoughts on Kaya coming back. I am not going to, I'm not going to continue to watch her channel. I had actually unsubscribed, but somebody put this on my radar. Um, you know, I'm not going to support somebody who cannot even live by the rules that they set forth for other people. I just don't find that to be, um, I, I don't like to support hypocrites, but tell me how you feel about all this down below. Um, I'm sure it will be an interesting comment section, but that's going to be it for now. So if you like the video, please leave a like in the comments. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.